I began playing recorder when I was about six or seven years old, um, which is when most people play the recorder. It felt almost more natural than speaking because I didn't have to explain myself. I just played the way I felt and it was in a way much more meaningful for me than speaking a language. It's very uncommon to play this instrument professionally and I think my parents did a really good job of <laughs> keeping that secret from me so I wouldn't think what I'm supposed to play, is it appropriate or not, and I just did what I love to do. What influenced this album is 10 years of my life, very challenging relationship and sickness in my family and even though it was so hard I still wanted to capture this and that is why I wanted this memory to become music because I think that's the best way to capture emotion. I think that Dali uh, makes you cry uh, whenever she wants. Her soul is so authentic, so deep, so beautiful that everything that she writes or plays uh, is like a dream. I want to do things that I didn't think I can do and couldn't imagine before. Something you want to come back to from sometimes an experience that is, is very hard at the moment, but at the end to make out of it something that is uplifting. Tali Rubinstein is one of the best musicians in the world. I just hope that for many years we can work together and continue this all beautiful things that we've been doing together for many years. We recorded this album before COVID. I just sat down to listen to the whole album after this whole time that I didn't do that. And at the end, I just felt like that's it. I have nothing more to say. This basically sums up my life so far, pretty much. And there's something very complete about it and very real.